Hello everyone, it's John Hallett 168 here, and today we are back with the Farming to Max series with episode number four. And while we were gone, some things have happened, and let's go over them right now. When I left you guys off, we had the Wall Breakers leveling up, as well as the Spell Factory leveling up, and those two air defenses going. Well, the air defenses have not finished yet because they take a really, really, really long time. I think eight days, that's more than a week to put in perspective. Um, and a we only have 12 hours, around 12 hours left for our air defense on the bottom here, but still three days and five hours for that one. So we're still coming to a close with getting all those air defenses to level six. Man, they look cool. That's so cool. I, I like the way they look. And then, oh, even looks even cooler once we get to level seven, but that's going to be way in the future because on the cost scale that I'm going by from the things, the defenses and buildings that cost the lowest, this is definitely uh, higher up. So, um... Okay, so let's go over to the uh, Spell Factory. The Spell Factory has been finished. Level 5, bam, maxed out. I love having that. Not You only have three buttons down below. You have the info and then the info boost and create spells rather than uh, the upgrade ones. So that's always fun to see. That's like something you can get with the, the Town Hall. It's a Town Hall 10 when you get there. Really cool. I love having maxed out things like the Elixir Storage. And yeah, great. It's just a great feeling. Um, oh, actually, there, look at there. There's a mushroom. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. Um, so, in regards to that, that is finished. Uh, and we got the free spell, and actually, I was just in a war, and we had, uh, some... The, having that extra spell... Oh, four gems, let's go. Alright, but back to having this extra spell, uh, I can have four, um, heal spells as well as another lightning spell. So thank you guys so much for putting that in the comments. I didn't think it was going to make that much of a drif difference, but it really does uh, in the wars and stuff and attacking wise. It's really cool. That extra spell can definitely save you. Okay, so looking at the wall breakers, we have gotten them up to level 3 and they're headed to level 4, 75,000. I know that the next level costs around 2 million something, so we'll use the rest of our elixir for that. But gold wise, we are really, really close to getting that... Uh, uh, 2.5 million for the first Ar Archer Tower going to level 10. Now, how long does that take? Five days. It only takes five days. Not like the eight-day air defense. Um, so uh, I think we're really close to that, and that's what definitely what we should be going for today. And just looking at some cool raids. Actually, I wanted to show you guys a defense that happened. I don't win defenses because if you guys haven't noticed, the town hall is out there with no traps, nothing but a Christmas tree to defend it. Uh, the Christmas tree is not a defense, by the way, guys. It doesn't defend for you. Um, uh, so it's just out there and it's free. It's a freebie. But I actually want recently won an attack, and that shows uh, that goes to show that it's a it's a pretty good base layout. Uh, so yeah, feel free to use it if you're a town hall ten and uh, you're farming. Um, go ahead. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the defense right here. We got 45%. I got 19 trophies, which I always love getting trophies. Even though I'm not trophy hunting, trophies are fun to get. So let's go ahead and check out this uh, replay. He used hogs and giants and heal spells, and I think he started from the back. Oh, no, he started over there. Okay. He's trying to lure out the guys. That's smart. It's a good way to go. Uh, yeah, now, yeah, he did come from the top. Alright, so he's got the queen coming out. I'm actually, oh, something I didn't mention is I'm upgrading my Barbarian King. I got enough Dark Elixir for that, so we are uh, good to go there. He's getting to level 11. So, get back to the raid. He's taking out the queen. Um, good for you. He's taken out the queen. He drops these giants over here. And obviously he's going to drop them over here because it's like the obvious place to go. But I have a bunch of traps there and it actually isn't, it's, it's, it is a trap. It's the, that whole area is a trap. See, they're they're already dead. So he drops his hog riders here, and the hog riders are going through, uh, as well as some giants, and those are po both um, troops that d uh, do defenses only. They uh, go for defenses first, and then come around for everything else. He drops the heal spell way in advance uh, for the beginning. That he has that one working, but those Teslas are going to work. The Teslas are so, so awesome. They work. They just go to work. As you can see, they're mowing down. Okay, that group of hogs over there. He doesn't have that many hogs with him. So it's interesting that he used two combine the two like defense prone troops the giants and the hog riders to just kind of try to take out the base but he's trying to get into that center there and it's it's rough for him he drops his queen out there as well as the horde of archers and barbarians trying to sack send i don't know what he's i think he's going for he must have been going for gold 
or maybe he was going for elixir. If he's going for elixir, he had a rough time. But he did get two of my gold swords, which is good. That shows to, uh, that goes to show that it's nice to have the spread out um, when you're making your base. Try to spread out your storages. So like he he attacked from the top. He only got the top gold storages. I'll kind of spoil the raid there. But uh, so the queen is going across there. Um, he only has gotten one elixir storage halfway through that other one, and the queen is down. Three, two. One, bam. So I would say the I it's just an interesting troop composition. Uh, for me, I would definitely go hogs. Um, if I were gonna attack my base, I'd definitely go hogs because I don't have inferno pa inferno towers. Um, and I'd like to address that right now. So lots of you have been saying to me in the clan. Uh, if you joined our clan, uh, you're totally feel free to join the clan. BCP 2017. It's a really not serious too serious clan uh we don't we have some un inactive players that's because i uh, it's like a friend clan i know a lot of the people in real life <laughs> whoa <laughs> i know them in real life who, who are in the clan so i just kind of let them stay there anyways um but in the future we will have a new clan coming out so don't don't worry about that but you are totally feel free to join well back to the inferno towers so some of you have said in the clan you know my suggestion to you john is why don't you get your inferno towers like you have you have a lot of defenses, but you don't have the Inferno Towers. Why not? Um, well, my answer to you guys is it's a strategic thing that I've actually been doing. I don't have the Inferno Towers because they would they would drain a ton of my Dark Elixir. Um, and I wouldn't be able to get my heroes up as well as go, in, go, go on when we're ready to push up to the top, uh, getting uh, the Hog Riders going. They, they drain a lot of Dark Elixir on their own, just having one Hog Army. I think it's somewhere from like two to 3,000 Dark Elixir, and that's a lot. Um, so to constantly having to refill the Inferno Towers, as well as have to fund the Hogs when we push up to the top, and just trying to get our heroes up, it, it's I don't think it's worth it for me right now. They're a perfect defense, nothing against them. I think they'll really help my base out once I'm ready to transition, but um, I don't think I'm quite there yet. So, and that's the reasoning behind that. So, uh, without further ado, I think we should get into our raids here. As you can see, I mentioned before the King's upgrading to level uh, 11 there. He has about 2 days and 13 hours to go. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into that raid and go for our Archer Tower to level 10. Alright, see you guys then. Okay, everybody, we have Snake here, and he has a ton of loot in his collectors. This is exactly what we're always looking for. Um, sadly, today, we don't have the king with us to raid, but I don't think we'll need him that badly on this first base. Uh, there was actually a few bases I was going along that I saw that I thought I could have gotten, but I needed the king with me. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go for those collectors, because it's all in the collectors. Uh, actually, no, we need to get the king out first. Uh, got to have the family reunion, guys. Come on. What are we talking about? All right, let's, come on down. Come on down. Oh, he's dead. No, that's not okay. Uh, why don't you? Yeah, come on over here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's get the let's get the friends ready. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Bam. Awesome. Here they come. All right, they're getting them totally. Love to see that. All right, so they're gonna take out that. Perfect. Hopefully. The goal is, yeah, we just got to get those, uh, we got to take out those defenses. Jeez. Because they are protecting those collectors. Not okay. That's not okay. They need to move out of the way. All right. Um, now we got the archers just shooting overhead. Great. We're uh, primarily gold. So let's go for all the gold ones first. Because um, we need that gold. We actually <laughs> were really close to getting it. Um, getting that 2.5 uh, million resources, you stupid cannon. Alright, uh, yeah, so we're going for all the gold collectors first. Alright, we're going to drop some goblins right here. We're going to grab that gold mine right there. There we go. That's what's up. All right, let's grab this other gold mine. Yeah, let's do it. And we'll get, we'll get the elixir, don't you worry. I think we'll have enough troops to get the elixir. Where's the last gold? Uh, there's this one, I know, but that one's almost dead. There's one right here. Haha, <laughs> I knew there was another one. Alright, why don't we just distract them. Distract them. Alright, grab, grab the gold. Get the gold! Get the gold! Alright, awesome. Oh, we almost have it. Just, just, just focus on those guys. Why don't you, why don't you let my archers just take them out? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, let's finish the work 
with this last one over here. Bam! Okay, now we can go for the, uh, but we want to get the 50 star too. <sighs> Let's do this. Uh, how are we going to do this? He has a weird freaking layout here. Um, get the freebies. Got the freebie there. Uh, let's just kind of go into this. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm not too worried about the elixir. I'm sorry, guys. We're not going to go for the elixir right now. We're just going to try to get that 50%. Um, we're going to drop the... Let's get the queen in this. Let's get her, let's get her in this. All right, we got 33%. We have 26 seconds, 24. We're going to drop the rest of the goblins. This is uh, this is getting fun. Here we go. We're going to try to... Oh, we're going for the dark elixir. Perfect. That's very good. Let's get the queen extra reinforcements in right there. That's what we like to see. Take out that cannon. There we go. 44%. Oh, oh it's going to be really close. Dang. Dang. Oh, my gosh. Take him out. 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 Oh, 48. Oh. Oh. All right. That's fine. No worries. We're not worrying about trophies here. Um, you know, I've been saying in the other... Um, oh, thanks, Kitty, for that. Uh, I've been saying in the other... Um, videos that we need to push up trophies but as you can see there's still actually a surprisingly good amount of loot down at those lower levels we're now we're kind of low um but you know we'll, wherever we go we can always find loot happily uh we can find it so uh let's go ahead we are fifty thousand away from getting that 2.5 million for the archer uh archer uh tower upgrade and, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into that next raid that will finish off getting that Arch Tower. All right, you guys, we're here with the second raid of the day. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish recording yesterday. I had some things going on, so I actually collected enough resources to get the Archer Tower. But we have to have a second raid. There's just no doubt. You can't just go on a video just having one raid. We got to have at least two. So we have some awesome loot here. It's really cool. Um like 500k more than 500k that's sweet all right let's get the freebies oh let's get the king yo yo what's up what's up dude all right that should be good enough for that um i think let's drop yeah they'll be fine there we go that's what's up all right now let's start using the goblins because as with most of the bases that have awesome loot it's all in the collectors and mines so let's go ahead and get into those collectors and mines Awesome. Gotta love the goblins for that. They just tear up those storages and collectors and mines. So pro. Gotta love them. Okay, here we go. They're just going hard. Bam. I wonder if they go... Oh, they should go for the clan castle now. Like, no joke. Do they go for the... Oh, they don't go for the clan castle. I think they should totally go for the clan castle if it has loot in it. That's something they should put into programming. Uh, they should put into the code of the game that like, goblins should go for uh, clan castles if they have loot. I think that's that would be totally fair and it makes sense because um, you won't. That's that's totally loot, even though it's not that much. It's still loot. Wow, we're at three million for um, all the resources. That's awesome. Also, since I was gone, um, the goblins, uh, not the goblins. Oops, the wall breakers have finished. I actually no, have they finished? I don't know. Something finished. Uh, we'll find out when we get back. Okay, um, there's one collector left. Let's get that. I think it was the air defense that finished. Yeah, that's what finished. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, we need to... Oh, yeah, let's get the loot in the clan castle because there is loot in the clan castle. As you can see, it's flying out there. It's just coming out. I wonder if we'll get some dark elixir. That would be fun. Let's see what happens. It's actually, let's just... All right, we only have a few seconds left, and we have 30, uh, 37%. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the clan castle. Got some giants in there and some archers. There we go. Let's just, let's just finish them off. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! There they go. Getting that. Getting those percents. Yep. All right, so the queen has been dropped. Let's go ahead and use her to our advantage. Um, spawn some extra troops. Sweet. 47. Oh, this is going to be clutch, guys. Everything's clutch. When I'm on, when I'm recording, everything just becomes clutch. I don't know why. Oh, there it is. Perfect. We don't need any more else. Bam. Look at all that loot. Dang. 
That's awesome. And nine trophies to go along with it. The queen wasn't hurt, I don't believe. Yep, she's totally fine. Okay, so let's check out what finished. Uh, it was definitely the uh, the air defense. It was this. Air yeah. No, it was this air defense. This air defense. Yeah, because um, I only had 11 hours left when I first started recording. So, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Um, geez. Lo I actually hit level 90. Uh, so, I love... I mean, 90 just looks so cool. But as you can see, 868 is like nothing. It's not even passing us through the level 90 uh, logo there. So that's pretty crazy. Well, now that we have enough money and I mean gold for the Archer Tower, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade our first Archer Tower. Should we go with this one first? No, that's what has that opening there, so it needs to be alive. So let's go ahead and go with this one right here. In three, two, one, bam! Awesome, awesome, awesome! Three, uh, five days left, and we will have a level 10 archer tower. Uh, we got a lot better stats there. We got plus 30 hit points as well as plus 9 damage per second. That's good DPS. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we only have one day and 10 hours left for those wall breakers. I'll upgrade them once they are, well, continue to upgrade them to level 5. Uh, once they are done, I think, yeah, it'll cost, I think I said before that it'll cost like 2 million something. Um, so, yeah. Uh, things are headed in a great direction, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.